Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a January transfer move to Arsenal. Now, first of all, before we get into the transfers, huge game tonight. Arsenal taking on Manchester United in the FA Cup and I'm really buzzing for this game. Really, really looking forward to it. Don't forget to check out um, all of our content after the game tonight. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. And I've got a good feeling about it. I think we're going to be all right. You know, it obviously depends on what team we put out. But you know what? I've been speaking to so many Man United fans this week and they literally think they're just going to turn up and it's going to be quite simple. You know, obviously, they're confident. They've been on a great run. But I think they're forgetting that at home this season, we've been very, very strong. We beat Chelsea last week. We've beaten Tottenham at home. We didn't get turned over by Liverpool. Man City, the only team that's beaten us this season. That was the first game of the season at home. So if we put a strong team out, I'm pretty confident that we'll do all right, but I'm um, really, really buzzing for that game. It doesn't get no bigger. It kind of reminds me of the old days when we used to play Man United, that, you know, the central focus is all on this game. And um, it's brilliant. It's brilliant to see. Um, Transfer-wise, I wish we was, it was as big transfer-wise as it is playing in that sort of game. But transfer-wise, um, Arsenal uh, with a really big link today. This is absolutely everywhere. Arsenal linked with this player from PSG, goes by the name of Christopher Nkunu. Now, Christopher Nkunu is a midfielder. He's uh, 21, still a very young player, but very, very highly thought of um, over there in France. It emerged yesterday that Arsenal want to bring him in on loan until the end of the season. And we know, of course, that we've been hearing it all January, that you know, loan deals with what Arsenal are looking to do this month. Well, Arsenal want to bring him in on loan. He's played under Unai Emery um, before. Uh, Unai Emery had him, of course, when he was at PSG. He played under Unai Emery for two seasons, and it was Emery who gave him, gave him his break. Um, it's when Adrian Rabio was injured for a time. Um, and Kunu came in and did really, really well, and Emery really, really likes him. Um, under the new manager, Thomas Tuchel, it hasn't been such a good time for uh, Nkunu. He's only started five games this season, and... Um, it said that Tuchel has said that he, you know, he can go out on loan. Um, obviously, it looks like PSG at the moment are trying to find um, a replacement because he has been sort of that cover in midfield. They've had big problems this season with Rabio, who wants to move on, looking like he's going to be moving to Barcelona. They've dropped him out of the team. Verratti's been injured, so maybe they might look to bring in a replacement before they let Nkunu go. But it's definitely. This is looking like it could be a goer. Um, he's a very versatile player in Kunu. Um, he can play anywhere across the midfield. He can play as a right back as well. And I've seen this guy play. I remember when he played against um, Arsenal in pre-season. Um, he looked a very good player. Very good. Him and Rabi, I remember in that game. The two of them look real top class players. And I remember, uh, I think it's me and Troops were there watching the game. We were saying, you know what? Good signing. Uh, he's more talking about Rabio at the time, but we were saying that, you know, we was commenting on how the young players at PSG were really, really good because that game when they played um, Arsenal preseason, literally they played all the youngsters in the team. Um, so, would be quite a positive signing. As I said, lots of reports that there is a lot in this. David Ornestein reporting yesterday that, you know, talks are ongoing. It's still in the early stages at the moment. I know there's a lot of people out there saying, you know, almost you read some things, it's almost like it's a done deal. I think this is still in the early stages. Of course, uh, the window closes next week, Thursday. But this one definitely looks like a possibility. And a loan, you know, it looks like PSG would be open to a loan deal with, you know, an option at the end of that loan deal for Arsenal to purchase him for around about £17 million. So let's keep an eye on this one over the next few days, right, leading up until the end of the window and see how that one develops. A lot of people are looking on it and saying he could be that alternative to Denis Suarez. And increasingly, the Denis Suarez thing is starting to look like it might not happen. And remember, a couple of weeks ago, this was the one that we all thought was going to go through. Seems to be a lot of sticking points on this. Um, it looked like the player, Denis Suarez, 100% wants to come to Arsenal. I mean, apparently Barcelona have offered him to other clubs like Sevilla, um, he's not interested in those. He only wants to come to Arsenal. The, the problem is, is that uh, Arsenal want to uh, obviously take him on loan, as we know. Um, apparently, I heard that that loan sort of offer was agreed. 
with again an option for Arsenal to buy him at the end of the loan deal. I think the sticking point though is with Denis Suarez. Uh, Barcelona wanting to sign a three-year deal. Um, he doesn't want to do that. And you can understand why he wouldn't want to do that because his contract's running out. Um, why sign a three-year deal with Barcelona, a club that want to let you go? They only want to do that because they want to be able to, if it doesn't work out with Arsenal, then sell him on for a huge amount of money if the, or as much money as they can possibly get. He knows with his contract coming to the end that he can just walk away and, you know, deal with whoever he wants to do. Uh, you know, get a nice signing on fee, negotiate higher wages. Why would he want to sign a three-year deal? So I think that's kind of the sticking point on this one. Again, could it possibly happen before the end of the window? Stranger things have happened. It could. It could still happen because the player really wants to come to Arsenal. Um, and again, this is another player that's played under Unai Emery that Unai Emery knows. So it's a possibility. There's a lot of outlets also reporting that another one of the sticking points is the fact that Raul Sanelli, who of course is uh, at Arsenal now, um, head of football, director of football there. Obviously, he was previously at Barcelona and there seems to have been some sort of falling out when he left and lots of suggestions at Barcelona kind of making it difficult because they're not that keen on dealing with Sanelli because of, you know, the fact that he left them. I don't know if this is true, but again, these are some of the rumours that persist around this transfer. Again, this is one that we're going to have to wait and see. So I don't think it's dead in the water yet, but it's definitely got problems and uh, we'll have to see. Uh, I spoke about this a few days ago, the goalkeeper who plays for Sam Doria, same club, of course, that Lucas Torreira came from. Um, his name is Emil Adiro. Um, he's 22 years of age. Arsenal said to be very interested in this goalkeeper. They see him as a keeper that come, can come in and give very, very stiff competition to Bern Leno. They're not just looking for a number two. They're looking for a keeper that's going to come in and, you know, <laughs> if Leno slips up, bang, this guy can come in. And certainly he's been having a very good season with Sam Dory. He's there on loan at the moment. Um, he is actually on loan from Juventus, but Juventus said to be willing to sell him um, if the price is right. Again, I think this is more going to be a summer deal, but definitely Arsenal interested in Emil Giro, said to be highly rated, having a good season over there in Italy. Um, Italian, played in the Italian under-21s, actually born in Indi Indonesia, I was reading. Um, but Arsenal still very interested in him. And what about this next one, which has been flying around today? Now, I don't know if it's just because the Man United game is taking place, Arsenal playing Man United, and anybody who follows the show on a regular basis will know that I'm always saying to people that have a look sometimes at fixtures and some of the rumours that just magically turn up. And sometimes they're linked to their fixtures and they make great stories, not always truthful links. I don't know about this one, Wan Mata. He's been linked with Arsenal today. Uh, Wan Mata, 30 now, Manchester United player, previously at Chelsea, we know. Very, very good player, very talented player. Not used, I don't think, enough by Man United, especially over the years. Um, Mourinho didn't seem to fancy him. Um, didn't fancy him that much when he's at Chelsea either because he used to say he didn't track back enough and that. But Unai Emery knows him from his time at Valencia. He's, again, <laughs> Emery, Emery's familiar with a lot of these players. Um, now, Juan Mata is going to be available on a free transfer come the summer. That means another, he's in another Aaron Ramsey situation where he can walk away for absolutely nothing. Um, Barcelona and PSG are very interested in him, but we're reading today that Arsenal also another club that are very, very interested in Juan Mata. Of course, um, we know about his abilities. He's a great technically, technical player. Brilliant at set pieces, and as I said, technically very, very good player. And lots of suggestions that he could be that player that could come in and replace Aaron Ramsey. He's a midfielder that gets goals as well. Um, suppose, yeah, I suppose he's a bit similar to Ramsey, although he doesn't sort of have the energy, the box of box qualities that um, Ramsey has, but he is um, a top player. Would Arsenal move in for him? I mean, as I said, he'd be available for free. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> Arsenal with our transfer policy, uh, free transfers we like. And there's also suggestions that he wants to stay in England. He's a very settled in England. Of course, he's been here for a long time now, as I said, um, since leaving Valencia. Been at Chelsea for a long time. Been at Man United now for a long time. Could it be a matter? 
ending up at um, Arsenal in the summer? Or is this just another one of them rumours that are linked today because we're playing Man United? Who knows? We have to probably wait until the summer to find out how that one pans out. And finally, I don't know if you saw the news yesterday about Thierry Henry, um, suspended as manager of Monaco. He's going to be sacked. Um, lots of talk that they're going to bring back Jardin. It's a mess over there in Monaco, but it's not been great for Thierry Henry um, since he's been there at Monaco. He's only won two league games um, since he took over in October. Beaten 5-1 at the weekend as well. I was watching that game. They were absolutely terrible. Fabregas made a terrible mistake in that game, dwelling on the ball in his own box. Um, Thierry Henry said to have uh, tore into the players and uh, they took exception to that. He's Apparently, they say he lost the dressing room and it looks like after a very short stint at his dream club, Monaco, he's going to be out of a job. And... Just goes to show when a lot of people were suggesting that, you know, Thierry Henry take over after Arsene Wenger. It's hard to come in at those big jobs. I remember saying at the time that, you know, so I love Thierry Henry, but Thierry Henry and the Burkamp thing and Thierry Henry and Burkamp and all these things I was, we were hearing about, I was like, for me, not ready yet. He needs to go and cut his teeth at a lesser job. Then maybe, who knows? I mean, he was at the, in the Belgium team where he'd done really, really well. Just not worked out for him at Monaco. I feel a bit sorry for him. Um, but I think when you look at the mental strength of somebody like Thierry Henry, I think he'll come again. Um, took a lot of balls to give up a comf comfortable job at Sky where he's earning a lot of money to try and concentrate on management. You know, and I respect him for that. And I'm sure Thierry Henry will come again. Who knows? Maybe in the future at Arsenal. Who knows? Um, listen, thanks for watching the show tonight. As I said, it's all about the Man United game. Today, we're going to be buzzing there. And don't forget, tonight at midnight, check out my show on Channel 4, The Real Football Fan Show. We've got a um, um, brilliant, brilliant show for you. Ian Wright in the studio. Tama Hassan, um, the Millwall fan from Football Factory in the studio. It's a brilliant show tonight. Make sure you check that out at midnight. If you go to the game and you're going to get on too late to check it out, put it on um, record Make sure you do a series link. It's a great show. Thanks for watching and we'll be back tomorrow.